second station, which is the beginning of the Akhirah. What is it? The grave. That's the first station. May Allah make our graves so vast, so wide. Amen. And may Allah save us from the torment of the graves. Amen. So the grave is the first station of the Akhirah. Sayyidina Uthman radiallahu anhu, whenever he attended any funeral, and, and now he's in the cemetery or graveyard, he would cry and weep till the tears they wet his beard. When he was asked, he said, because this is the, the first station. If you pass this test in the grave, then Alhamdulillah, that's why if you pass the test, and that test is not easy. You are alone in the grave so dark and the two angels they come and shout at you screaming at you it's not easy not easy but may allah make it easy for all of us i mean may allah keep us steadfast and give us the tawfiq and the ability to answer the questions and may allah give us the peace and the security at that moment. Amen. If you pass the test, they tell you, fine, now you relax, the angels. You passed. And you receive all the blessings from the Jannah and everything. Now, you want to go to the, to the Jannah. Because now, you feel secured. Rabbi Akim is Sa'a, Rabbi Akim. Sa'a, let me enter the Jannah. Let the hour start. No, 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 wait. Hmm? Wait. But if you didn't pass the test and the grave squeezed you and your ribs went into one another like that, Do you want the sa'a to start? No. Because that means what, what will come after is worse. That's why Sayyidina Uthman would cry a lot. So the punishment of the grave is a true, is a fact, the torment, adab al-qabr. That's why the shuhada are exempted and the shuhada they will not be tested in their graves the shuhada martyrs they will not go through this you know why the prophet ﷺ answered he was tested in the battlefield the shaheed he was tested already but others no they will go through this So the first, that's the second, the grave. And there are certain causes or certain things that cause the punishment of the grave. I'll just go quickly and we should try to avoid them. If you don't clean yourself, you know most of the people in the hellfire, they will be punished and tortured because of what? They don't clean themselves when they respond to the call of nature. They go to the toilet, they don't clean themselves. So make it your habit that when you go to the toilet, you clean yourself very well and take wudu. Take wudu. Because the Prophet ﷺ said, لا يحافظ على الوضوء إلا مؤمن. Only the mu'min will maintain his wudu. 
Second cause, backbiting. If you backbite and crunch and eat the, your brothers and sisters' flesh, that is punishment in the grave. That will make you go through that. You'll be tortured. The ghulul, which means taking from the booty before it is divided in the battlefield. The booties and the spoils, so you took something and you hid it. You know Karkara, who knows Karkara? Karkara is one of the slaves of the Prophet And he was killed, an arrow came and hit him. So the Sahaba said, Hani Allahul Jannah, what a lucky guy. He's going to the Jannah. He said, no, that piece of garment which he hid stopped him from entering the Jannah. Because he ha what happened, Karkara took a garment and hid it before the booty was divided. So stopped him from entering the, the Jannah. Number four, lying, telling lies. Number five, Abandoning and deserting the Quran. How many of you today read the Quran? Don't raise your hand. Have you read the Quran today? I know. Many Muslims, they have deserted the book of Allah. They read it only in Ramadan or on occasions or someone died. or Right? Subhanallah. Aqala Rasulu Ya Rabbi Inna Qawmi Takhadu Hadha Al-Qur'ana Mahjura. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is complaining against us to Allah that we have deserted the Qur'an. My dear brothers and sisters, we have to read on daily basis at least one chapter every day. One yuzu. So that at least every month you finish the Qur'an. At least. And it's not difficult. It's easy. Very easy. Reading the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Don't desert the Quran. It will give you that peace, that tranquility, the happiness, the calmness, everything. Kalamullah. Ala bi dhikrillahi tatma'innul qalam. The sixth point that caused the adab al-qabr Grave's torment is the zina, Udu Billah, zina, whether it is adultery or fornication. It is zina. Number seven, eating riba, the riba, the usury, the usury, the usury and the interest. Those who eat the riba, that's what will happen to them. The debt. If you have debts, that will stop you from entering the Jannah. That's why the Prophet Sallallahu it was his habit whenever someone passed away, dead person is brought, the Janazah is brought, he would ask, does he have debt? Does he have any? Or any, anyone, any money? If they say yes, he say, okay, you pray. I will not pray. And one day, he asked and they said yes. He owes people money. He said, okay, I will not pray. So one of the Sahaba volunteers said, I will settle his debts. I will pay his debts. I will clear, clear his debts, but you pray. He said, okay, now you are responsible. And the Prophet ﷺ did not leave it at that stage. He kept following after that. Did you pay the debts? He said yes. So don't go and put yourself in troubles and take loans from banks, riba. No. Try to avoid these things. What are the things that will save you from the grave torture? The good deeds. Good deeds in general, salah, siyam, zakah. Seeking Allah's protection, always say, Allahumma, ajirni min adabil qabr. 
And that's what we do every every, in every salah and the teaching out, right? Who will be saved from the punishment in the grave? Martyrs, shuhada, murabituns, those who are on the frontiers, ribat, okay? Those who dies on Friday, if you die on Friday, that is a good sign, you know that? If you die on Friday, you will not be tested in the grave. That's a good ending, good sign. If you die on Friday night or Friday morning, and mashallah, many people we know. Allah bless them with this. Whoever dies due to abdominal disease, also, they will be saved. 